So it's coming to that time of year where it's cold, windy, wet and raining, but just so happens to be my favourite time of the year, particularly for tailoring. It's a great opportunity to mix up textures, layering and accessorise. I want to speak with you today about four different outfit options that will work perfectly across this season and give you a real reason to enjoy it. My name's Richard from Richard George Tailoring. Let's get into it. Before we get into each individual outfit, it's important to understand that with the change in seasons comes a change in colour palettes. Putting away the lighter, area, brighter colours from summer, opting for the more heavier, darker, subdued, more earthier tones reflective of the environment. Green hues, browns, dark navies, charcoals, all reflective of kind of the autumnal feel. So with the first outfit, the focus is office wear, work wear. Somebody that's commuting, somebody that's moving around a lot. So fabrics and textures need to be of such that they're comfortable, breathable, but very durable as well. With this, we've chosen a fabric from our Made to Measure offering, produced by a mill called Raider in Biella. Raider create fabrics that are suited to active wear as well as tailoring. So combining the two makes for a beautiful option for workwear. The construction of this in particular has got a very nice soft shoulder, so it sits very elegantly. Herringbone is a really nice nod to classic tailoring. It's a style and a texture that's been around for a long, long time. Here it's a slightly more minute detail, which gives it a real clean kind of finish and sharpens up the overall look. With the lapels, we've opted for a peaked lapel, which is a bit more of the moment. Various different elements of tailoring come in and out of fashion. The peak lapel is very current at the moment, but as well, it's not outlandish enough to be something that you're never gonna wear again. The beauty of this as well is, in particular, the trousers have got a really nice detail around the waistline. So the buttoning and the closure is quite unique. Slightly high-waisted, which again is very popular at the moment. Um, and in fact, these you could wear quite comfortably with a white t-shirt, a pair of trainers if you opted for that. Um, a very versatile piece. A crisp white shirt is an absolute staple as well. All our shirting fabrics are produced by Thomas Mason, which are considered the best in the world. Um, of course, as a raw material, it's an Egyptian cotton. So it stays a brilliant white for much longer, at wear after wear after wear. For a tie, there's plenty of different options as far as fabric are concerned. Silk tends to be the most popular in what we've opted for here. It offers a really clean knot, but you can, depending on the scenario, go for a softer wool, a cashmere that you may wear with a waistcoat or a shooting jacket or that kind of situation. The finer details include a nice horn button, turnips, all round a really nice, effective piece for the office. Now, just to add another dimension, looking at an alternative coat, specifically in a camel, which is a very classic color. Now, the name doesn't derive from the color itself, but more the fabric that's used. So this is a pure baby camel hair woven by Laura Piana. So beautiful, classic, and timeless. But the unusual thing about this, again, is the softer shoulder, but also there's a good bit of give in the fabric. So you can have it a bit closer if needs be which works well for casual as well as smarter. And I think in particular, this works beautifully with the gray and the charcoal tones. I think particularly for us here in the UK, overcoats are crucial. And if I was to say invest in something tailoring related, make it an overcoat. It's something that will last you or should last you tens of years, something that you may well even pass down to your children. Um, but a really high quality wool or cashmere ensures that it's keeping you warm, it's gonna be durable, and selecting fabrics and colors appropriately means the longevity and the wearability is, is far higher than say a more standout piece or of the moment piece. For me, I've got 15 to 20 overcoats in the wardrobe and it's great to have that option there, but you seem to have these go-to pieces. So for me, the camel is perfect for most scenarios. A good charcoal as well, or a light gray, I would strongly advise. And then certainly a nice Mac, rainproof, kind of showerproof Mac as well. Now for the shoes, I would strongly advise 
a nice, clean, classic Oxford. You can't really go wrong, particularly for office wear. Black is generally a go-to, although some find it a bit too formal. So very dark browns or even an oxblood would probably work quite well. These in particular, a really strong, robust, uh, high quality leather. Um, cork line sole ensures the comfort and over time it, it molds quite nicely. Um, and then a real kind of pop of color on the underside just to really give a bit of personal flair and taste. Um, really can't go wrong with this kind of thing. For me, with everything being kind of cloud-based and, and people are carrying less and less around with them, briefcases have maybe taken a bit of a backseat, but I'm a bit of a classic kind of person in that I really like the handle of a good, strong quality briefcase. This one's a soft-sided piece, um, bespoke Richard George. Um, it's one of those things that will age well over time, um, holds a laptop nicely and, and kind of the, the bare basics of what you need for a day's work. So here, very simply, I've just thrown over a double-breasted black cashmere and wool coat. The wool ensures it's very durable, the cashmere gives it a nice soft handle. Again, we're talking textures, pairing pieces that work well specifically for autumn. Black is one of those colours, it can be a little bit morbid, depending on how you pair it with what and the scenario, but I think here it's just a really clean, sleek look. And of course, the nature of the fabric itself will keep you warm. Um, again, a very soft shoulder, quite an Italian style, just drapes nicely. Um, horn buttons, very practical. I mean, it works well over a coat, you could wear it casually with jeans also. So these pieces, very well made, so they're made to last it, it ensures you can get your longevity out of them. And just a style point, never do the bottom button up. This next outfit is off to the pub, he's out and about, weather's not particularly great, so we're thinking we want to be warm, we want to be looking good, and we want to be protected from the weather. So opting for Again, the tones and the colours are relatively classic, but they've got a bit of texture to them. So, the base layer, the zip neck merino wool from our autumn winter collection is ideal for, for keeping warm. And if you're getting a little bit too warm, just unzip it ever so slightly and, and it's nice and airy thereafter. Um, the the colours are a, kind of a chocolate brown, but the closer you get the detail of the various different other colour yarns come through. Paired in my opinion, perfectly with the beige car coat. A car coat, again, super classic, old school style, but brought through to this century with the technology in the fabric itself. Classically, it would just be a, a waxed cotton or just a very durable drill cotton. This is a fabric called Storm System, which is created by Laura Piana. And it's a system whereby wool is treated in such a manner with a, a fine layer underneath. And, and brought together to ensure that it is impenetrable from the rain. Um, so incredible quality, but as well, the durability element is it's super crease resistant. You can scrunch up into a ball, throw it in the boot of the car and pull it out and it's perfect. Um, nice little accessory of a cap. Um, don't worry too much about hat hair in this instance. It would just be a, a, in the nice sort of Richard George green um, with a bit, a bit of a motif as well. And one of my other, other favourite elements of the outfit is the jeans. Now, I'm quite an enthusiast for really high quality denim. These in particular are produced as part of our Made to Measure programme, but the fabric itself is from a mill called Kuroki, which is a Japanese denim um, producer, and they're considered the best in the world, Japanese salvage denim in particular. Over time, it wears and builds character depending on how you wear them. It's advised not to actually wash your jeans, unbelievably. Um, I mean, I've got a pair that I think I might have washed four times in the whole life that I've had them, but there's techniques whereby throwing them in the freezer kills all the bacteria, because what you want to do is you want to keep the character and the wash exactly as you intend to wear it. So the kind of thing you'd want to wear on your feet with this is something that's practical, but still stylish. We developed these boots in particular, which have got a commando sole, a lightweight commando sole, so it's not the, the classic army boot kind of style. Uh, it's a combination of a suede for that real luxurious feel, but also a pebble grain leather for that durability. If you're out on a dog walk or you're stomping through town, whatever the scenario there, look good and do exactly as you need them to. 
I think this outfit in particular is the kind of thing where practicality is important. As mentioned, change in weather, uh, the breathability in itself is, is key. Um, but also you, you want to look good, you want to look stylish and, and you want to look well thought out and well put together. Um, one element in particular with this coat is uh, it's versatile across all seasons. So when we talk about coats being investment pieces, having the ability to wear them throughout the year, uh, particularly in the UK and our unpredictable weather is, is important. So this does have a detachable quilted lining which we can chop and change and make bespoke linings to suit whatever your tastes are. In this scenario we're looking at evening wear, so out to dinner, out for drinks at a bar or restaurant, really quite an elegant surrounding, so the garments would need to reflect that. With an element of casualness too, so not too stuffy, but in particular as discussed previously, textures are very important and opting for what is technically a classic blue blazer, but the fact it's constructed using cashmere really sets it apart from anything else. Depending on how the light hits it, it has a real luster to it. The handle is exceptional and really kind of stands out from the crowd, but without shouting too loud. The color palette is quite refined and quite classic combinations of crisp white against the dark navy and then dark charcoal trousers. Typically works well for evening and through the autumnal and, and winter months. The styling on this jacket in particular is quite unique. Again, we've opted for a peak lapel with the hand stitch buttonhole, which ever so slightly catches the eye as a real point of difference. The closure, although it looks like a two button, is actually a 2.5 rollover. So there's a hidden button just there. Typically a classic Italian style that has been popularized through recent times. And again, a nice soft shoulder. This gives a, a real elegant drape to the garment and you'll get a ever so slight pleating detail in the shoulder, which is a sign of a really beautifully made garment. The shirt choice is a crisp white cotton. Really can't go wrong. It's a twill, it's lightweight, and it's just brilliant white. A beautiful contrast between the dark and the light. Open collar or perhaps a tie if the moment calls for it. But in this instance, just a nice open collar, very refined. The trousers we've opted for in this instance are a very soft carded flannel. Again, in theme with the autumnal textures and the real depth of character that you get with flannel. It's been produced by VBC, again, one of the best mills in the world for, for flannels. Um, the styling is a nicely tapered fit, ever so slightly more relaxed around the seat due to the pleats. Uh, and side adjusters as well, just a really sharp finish. With this particular outfit, there are so many different options as far as shoes are concerned. Color-wise, browns of any color, uh, apart from tan, I'd say steer clear of a tan for this particular outfit. Black, for me, I really like an oxblood. It's a quite a classic color. These in particular have got a really nice hand-painted patina, so it really gives a bit of character. Because the trousers are quite dark and the tones are quite dark, it's nice to have a little bit of a pop just somewhere, be it pocket square or in the shoes. Loafers would generally be more associated with summer, but I think because of the colors and the leather itself being quite a robust one, this does lend itself quite nicely to an autumnal vibe. And then of course, when running to and from the Uber, raining as it always generally is in the UK during autumn, a nice waterproof Mac, tailored of course, in a really nice lightweight fabric, water repellent and then that signature contrast lining that we can remove or reattach at any stage. A real classic, timeless British piece brought through to the 21st century. Typically a trench coat probably isn't associated with evening wear or, or dining out, but this in particular is a really nice rich black in a water resistant Laura Piana fabric. So tailored well, the right fabric, you can still get away with something that is a bit more casual generally speaking but ideal for evening wear, particularly in autumn with showers and everything that comes with that as well. With people spending more time at home, it's easy to fall into the routine of tracksuit wearing, horrible old jeans, ripped up dirty t-shirt. And I think that for your mindset is no good. I think it's important to still have an element of 
well put together outfit that yes is comfortable and is still very wearable but you feel good about yourself so for me this would be an ideal outfit that you could throw on the the heavier knit cashmere turtleneck is something that's super comfortable um, and still looks good and you feel good now this is perfect example of not really sticking to the rules when we're talking color palette i mean we talked about earthy hues and darker tones this in complete contrast to that is much brighter um, which i don't think is a bad thing i think it's nice to bring through a bit of personal um, taste and flair. I really like this, it says comfort, it's a staying at home um, and it's not necessarily dressing for anybody else, it's dressing for yourself but with subtle nods to tailoring which I try and always do. The fit itself isn't particularly tailored, it's, it's a bit roomier which I think is nice because it doesn't feel too close, you're not going to get too sweaty, it's just a nice kind of slouchier fit which is quite a fashionable look all the same. The trousers I've opted for here are a flannel trouser, which typically is quite a tailored element. Um, it's a nice nod to tailoring, but in this instance, it's a lighter weight flannel. The mill that produced it is called VBC, Barberis. Um, world famous for producing flannels, in particular carded flannels like which these are. Um, they offer a soft element. They're a light grey in colour, so pair quite nicely. Um, again, the fit itself is, is slightly on the looser side for comfort. Another key element of this is that scenario where you're at home, you're comfortable, you're chilling, you don't want to get changed. And you get the call, someone wants to meet up for a coffee or a pal wants to meet up for a beer. The beauty of this is you can just throw a coat on and completely still look perfectly acceptable in any situation. Bang. So. The jacket here is actually made from a really unusual fabric. It's from a merchant called Ariston. Now what's unique about this is it is completely water resistant. Now looking at it, you wouldn't think that because it's got a very soft, almost hair-like finish. But the treatment process it's been through ensures that the water just runs straight off it. And another really nice element about it as well is it's actually padded with duck feather. So that ensures absolute warmth. I mean, you could wear a t-shirt under this and, and feel absolutely fantastic. Um, and I think the blue is, is a great pop of colour. Uh, again, another opportunity for a bit of character. Um, blues, you really can't go wrong. Ultimately, he's gone from chilling at home to up and out, ready for a coffee, ready for a beer, ready for a catcher, without compromise of style. And the last little element is footwear. So here, still with a nice nod to tailoring, the fabric that these trainers are made from is the same fabric as the trousers, just a slightly different colour. So it's that VBC flannel. Um, they're just soft, comfortable, run around, and the more you're wearing them, they age and they, they look great and you know, they're just full of character. In summary, autumn is certainly my favourite season as far as what you can wear. The options are endless. Although sticking to relatively loose rules by way of colour palettes, they tend to be quite dark, quite earthy tones. Although I would encourage bringing a bit of character through in maybe a contrast lining or a real statement piece to throw in as well. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video as much as I've enjoyed talking about some of my favourite styles. Everything you've seen here is, of course, all Richard George Taylor, taken from our off the peg pieces through to our made to measure offering. If anybody wanted to inquire, please don't hesitate. Comment, like and subscribe, and I look forward to chatting to you on the next one.